Hey everybody, this is Gregory from DAP University. So in this video, I wanna talk about how to become a blockchain developer or how to learn blockchain programming from scratch. So like if you've never even learned how to code before. So before we do that, be sure to subscribe to this channel and click the thumbs up button down below. That really helps these videos get found so that more people can learn how to become blockchain developers. So today we're talking about how to learn blockchain development from scratch, like if you've never even coded before. So I'm actually making this video in response to an email that I got um, from Sam. I'll read this here. It says, hey, I'm 19 and am a complete coding beginner, hoping to become a blockchain developer, possibly start learning C++ and Solidity. Do you have any advice for me? Thank you. Yeah, so thanks for the email, Sam. Um, yeah, I'll try to maybe answer some of your questions. So like you said, you are uh, starting from a complete beginning background as a coder, and you want to learn to become a blockchain developer. You want to learn maybe C++ or Solidity. Um, okay, so let's kind of talk about everything that you would need to know in order to do this, um, you know, the different types of technologies you would need to know and maybe uh, programming languages and maybe what steps to do these things in. So, you know, you mentioned C++ or Solidity. So I'm assuming you mean C++ for EOS or EOS or Solidity for Ethereum. Um, so, I mean, I'll, I'll go out and make a pretty bold, opinionated statement. Uh, I, would, I would encourage you to learn Solidity for Ethereum. Um, but let's just talk about some other things that you might need to know. So, I mean, you could learn whatever smart contract language you want to or develop for whatever blockchain technology you want to. But I'm going to tell you how to do it with Ethereum. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot you need to know in order to, you know, build on Ethereum. That's kind of what this whole channel is about this, so, thus far. Um, but let's talk about the other things you need to know as a beginner. So uh, this will be kind of opinionated, um, so take it for what it is. But here's just a suggestion about things that you might want to learn. So, you know, you definitely want to learn how to use the blockchain and how to write smart contracts and things like that. I've got lots of videos on those kinds of things on this channel. Feel free to check all those out. But if you don't have any prior programming experience, this might be a hard place for you to really start. Um, and you may want to learn some other programming languages that will be used commonly in blockchain development and, you know, maybe write some other things that talk to a blockchain because those are probably going to be things that you need to know how to do as well in order, you know, instead of just writing smart contracts all day long, you're going to need to write things that actually interface with smart contracts. So I, if I were you, I would stick to uh, some really basic, you know, web development technologies. You know, I would learn some really fundamental, basic web development um, for lots of reasons. Um, and so that's going to, that's going to cover, you know, like HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And, um, I'll explain why. So like I said, first, you're going to be able to write something that talks to the blockchain or just talk to Ethereum or talk to smart contracts, you know, to be able to, to talk to smart contracts and be also to send ether between accounts. Not sure, you could build a, a desktop wallet for Ethereum or Bitcoin or something like that, or you could build a mobile wallet for Ethereum or Bitcoin. Um, but I mean, even those applications are gonna be pretty complicated and you might just wanna start with something basic like a web page that can just talk to Ethereum. And it's gonna be a lot easier to get started that way. So I also say to learn some basic web technologies like HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Um, so, and if you learn JavaScript, you're gonna learn sort of the language that's used commonly um, across other blockchain applications and use cases. So if you're you know, testing a smart contract, you'll probably be doing that with JavaScript and the Ethereum ecosystem. Um, you know, if you're writing a web page that talks to a smart contract, you're gonna be using JavaScript. And also, if you go ahead and learn JavaScript, you're gonna have a language that can be used in for other stuff. Like if you wanted to build a, a mobile app later, I mean, you can, you can do those things in JavaScript. Um, if you want to build a DAP that's a hybrid 
um, application that uses a web server in addition to the blockchain, you can do that with something like Node.js. Um, so if you also learn JavaScript in addition to you know, the languages that require for running smart contracts, um, that's going to give you a huge leg up and is going to be you know, very useful across a bunch of different applications. So I would do that. And, you know, I haven't done a lot of, you know, just pure JavaScript tutorials on this channel just yet. I might do that if that's something that you all are interested. Just feel free to leave a comment down below um, if that's something you all want. Um, but, you know, you could use uh, another free resource out there like, you know, Code Academy or something like that that, that teaches you how to, how to learn JavaScript and HTML and CSS. So I would do that. Those are the other things that I would learn. And really, you know... I, if I were you, I would still try to learn some, all these things kind of at the same time. I would learn some, you know, maybe just start with a little basic JavaScript, a little basic HTML, and a little basic CSS to be able to build a simple website. But I would go ahead and start thinking about how you're going to build a, a blockchain application and integrate those things. And so that leads me to my next point is... You know, it, even if I was a complete beginner, I would still start um, thinking of something that I wanted to build. So I, I say if you want to become a blockchain developer, don't necessarily uh, worry about jumping through all these different phases. Just start developing for blockchain and learn the things you need to know in order to develop for blockchain. So... You know, even as a complete beginner, I would say learn a little bit of HTML, CSS, JavaScript, a little bit of blockchain like this channel teaches you, and just think of something you want to build and try to build it. And you're going to get stuck. You're going to, you know, bump your head uh, into a wall. You're going to run into corners. You're going to have to back out, but that's going to cause you to look things up and, you know, Google for things, ask questions. And once you learn that through that method, it's going to really enhance your knowledge. You're going to really own that stuff. Um, and it's, it's just knowledge that's hard won. Now, it can be frustrating, but it's a really great way to learn. And I'm assuming you don't have any you know, professional experience yet in software development. And that's a vital skill that you'll need to know if you want to do it professionally is how to you know, help yourself and educate yourself and gather the knowledge. So I would still learn by building things, even if I was a complete beginner. I mean, that's how I started to learn programming ever. I mean, I, I taught myself how to code because I wanted to build things. And, you know, I didn't go through a school or anything like that that taught you that you have to learn this first, then this, then this, then this. I just kind of learned it all um, as needed in order to build the kinds of things that I, I wanted to build. So that's what I would do. And, you know, it, later on down the road, you probably want to enhance your skill set to, you know, like I said earlier, um, having some other server side technologies or something like that, um, be able to build web applications with something like Node.js. Um, if you wanted to learn a different backend language, um, I always recommend something like Python for beginners. Um, that's there's another a, a, a big bonus here is that you know Python has a Web3 client that you can use. Um, that's another big thing about JavaScript is you're going to use Web3.js or something like that to talk to Ethereum. Um, so yeah, I hope that helps. That's what I would do if I had to start all over from scratch and learn. Um, blockchain development from square one at with no coding experience. So yeah, I hope that helps, Sam. Um, let me know if I missed anything or if there's something else that you are curious about. You can leave a comment down in the comment section below. And again, be sure to subscribe to this channel for more updates and click the thumbs up button below because that really helps these videos get found. Uh, and until next time, thanks for watching DAP University.